Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film The Night House. And this movie centers on a young woman, she's married and her husband commits suicide. And th those elements occur right at the start of the film. And she is wondering why you know, he took his life, what did, what did she not do to fulfill his life, etc. And they have a house uh, overlooking a lake or on the ocean. I could I could never get. I think it was on the lake, but or an inlet, whatever. But she's in this house. It's semi isolated, and she begins to hear noises, etc., and begins to think that the house could be there could be a ghost there, and so she's trying to, to dig into his past to see if there are any clues as to what is going on in her life. The young woman is played by Rebecca Hall and she gives a great performance. She she seems, you know, she seems serious, she seems stable, and then there are elements where the things happen in the house that kind of provide an instability to herself. It's a good performance. Also in the cast is Adam Go excuse me, what let me get her name. Sarah Goldberg. I want to say Allison, but Sarah Goldberg, Vondi Curtis Hall, and then her deceased husband, who is shown in flashbacks, is played by Evan Johnny Keat. Johnny Keat. So, the acting is good. The story is good. It just slows down a little bit in points, and at the end, you're pretty satisfied with the explanation, but you're not totally satisfied with it. But the movie success rests on the shoulders of Rebecca Hall. You know, you either accept her and what she's going through or you're completely standing outside the movie. I, I felt like I pretty much got into her head and was going where she was going. The film is rated R for profanity, violence, and nudity. I scored it 6 out of 10. You know, I've been doing these reviews for from movies that came out this week, I seem to be hitting six a lot. But Rebecca Hall is great. I was interested in this movie, and you know, it stayed with me. I was following the twists and turns or whatever. I had you know red herrings. You know, I would say, oh, this is the reason for this, and this, and then no, it wasn't, or no, it wasn't. So I was falling into those elements. Again, a good movie, not a great movie, but Rebecca Hall is very, very good in her role. But this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of a film, The Night House.